This is uh, morning prayer in the season uh, between Ascension and uh, Pentecost. Uh, And as such, we are joining Thy Kingdom Come, uh, which is a global prayer movement that invites Christians around the world to pray more for people to come to know Jesus. And it started uh, in 2016 uh, with the Archbishops of Canterbury and York. This is Friday, the 29th of May. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, creator God, to you be praise and glory forever. As your spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the heart of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 28. To you I call. O Lord, my rock, be not deaf to my cry, lest if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear my voice when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked, with the evildoers who speak peaceably with their neighbours while malice is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their devices. Reward them according to the work of their hands and pay them their just deserts. They take no heed of the Lord's doings, nor of the works of his hands. Therefore shall he break them down and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him and I have been helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy and in my song I will praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Scripture reading today is from Ezekiel, chapter 36, starting at the 22nd verse. Therefore say to the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, it's not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I'm about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned amongst them. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when though you I uh, display my holiness uh, before their eyes, I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give to you and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from you your uh, body, the heart of stone and give your heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I will give to your ancestors and you shall be my people and I will be your God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. That is from Romans chapter 8. 
And so the song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. This week we're journeying through the history of prayer movements uh, inspired by uh, Pete Gregg's book called uh, The 24-7 Prayer Manual. And today we recall the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration uh, in Wisconsin, the United States of America. From 1878 onwards, uh, there have been at least two sisters on duty in rotating shifts to fulfill hundreds and hundreds of prayer requests that they receive each week. That's the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Mercy in Wisconsin in the United States. And so we come to pray, and you may, may remember that we're praying for five people Uh, that we wish to know more of the love uh, of God in their lives for whatever reason. Uh, And um, uh, you may remember all five today. You may remember one or two. It really doesn't matter. Uh, Let's just recall them to our mind and let us pray uh, as we picture their faces. Uh, Let us pray uh, perhaps in the light uh, of the Song of Zechariah, which we've just said, Um, that uh, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon them to shine uh, on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide their feet uh, into the way of peace. Perhaps our friends uh, need something of that peace at this time. Uh, Perhaps they've suffered uh, illness uh, in uh, in body, mind or spirit uh, and they need uh, a touch of God upon their lives. Uh, Perhaps they need just to know that they're held in the embrace uh, of God. Uh, And perhaps they just need to see the face of Jesus Christ, the love of God, made flesh in human form. So we pray for them. And through Christ, whoever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places. And inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of your peace. Send down upon us the gift of your spirit and renew your church with power from on high. May peace abound and righteousness flourish that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God, and especially in these days of coronavirus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And that brings us to the collect for thy kingdom come. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent into the world, sent us into the world to preach good news, the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.